Aqualand, South Africa. Isn't it beautiful? I come and work on the plants all year round, but spring is the best time. It's so colourful. I really love plant hunting here. It's late spring at the moment, but you can still see all the daisies in their different colours and all the other wonderful sorts of plants. Look at all these flowers. Isn't it amazing? Have you been here before, Joseph? Well, no. But I have heard all about it. There are all sorts of different plants here, which are able to live in very tricky conditions. Yes, it is hot and dry in the summer and cold and damp in the winter here. But plants need water, warmth, nutrients, light and space to grow, don't they? Let's catch up with Carly. She might be able to tell us about some of these clever plants. I'm looking for a beautiful wand flower, which I saw here just a month ago, but I can't see it anymore. You see, the plants where you live love the summer sun, but the ones here are a bit different. They need more water and cooler temperatures. So they flower in the winter when there's more rain. Oh, here it is. Then in the summer, when the sun comes out, it dries them out and they shrivel up. And all that's left is the bulb hiding underground. There we are. And the bulb looks just like an onion. Oh, look. This is a fritungs. This is another kind of bulb, and they do the same thing. They bury themselves away when it's too hot and dry in the summer months. And they have finished flowering in the winter months. So Namaquiland is always beautiful to visit. Wow, she is right too. I have found it in my plant book. Who would have thought that all these bulbs would be living under the soil in the summer, waiting for the rainfall? And did you know that some plants can also store water in their leaves over the summer to survive the dry months? These are called succulents. Succulents. Really? Let's go have a look. Speaking of hiding, where's Joseph? Hey! Wait for me! Excellent. Look what I've found. Plants that don't need to hide to survive the summer heat. This is the sour fig and it stores water during the summer in its leaves. Plants that do this are called succulents. These plants need sunlight, lots of space to spread out and nutrients from the soil to grow. Now this plant is particularly special. Tortoises, small deer and humans all eat the leaves. Now, you shouldn't eat plants that you come across at home, but I know all about this one. And by just chewing on a leaf tip and swallowing the juice, you can ease a sore throat. Yeah, it's not very tasty though. And the fruits are made into a jam. And you can see in here, it's very soft and there's lots of seeds. And this is they make into a jam. Put it on your toast. What I really enjoy about hunting for plants is that they not only produce beautiful flowers for us, but they're important to us in our use every day. We use them for food, furniture and even clothes. It is so important that we look after these plants. Speaking of useful plants, this is a quiver tree. The Khoi San people who once lived here used these branches for making cases for their poison arrows. Now, this trunk is really soft, so if we hollow it out like this, and then we would cover the bottom with a piece of leather, fitting straps to it 
like the one I have here. Tied off quite firmly, we don't want to lose our arrows. And there we go, we have a quiver for our arrows and we can go hunting. Well, these leaves are delicious. Joseph, stop eating everything! They used to carry their arrows in something made out of a branch. That's so funny! Plants are so useful. Your t-shirt is made from a cotton plant, Ash, and your plant book came from a tree. It says here that we can use some plants as food, medicines, and even to power our cars. It really is important to look after the plants as best we can. Here we are. I wanted to collect some of these seeds for Kew Gardens. This is called a soap bush and it's used to wash hands and clothes. Yeah, let me show you how this works. Put a bit of the seed in your hand, add some water, rub it together. Look, it foams. I need to make sure I make a note of everything that this plant needs to grow so that the scientists at Kew know exactly what to do. Today I found exactly what I wanted and learned some great things about how plants are used. You can do it too. Everyone can really help our great plant hunt by looking for plants that grow around their homes and finding out what they like. They may like the light or the shade or chillier conditions than here. And they may be really useful too. You can also think about why we enjoy it so much when we're surrounded by beautiful flowers. Personally, I just love it here. Thank you.